Hi everybody, this is Jacob Balanzadegui, Senior Vice President with MetaPure Products, here to talk about a very important topic, uh, that of cellular signaling, and why it's at the core of health. So when we look at a healthy body, there's really a few different ways that we can measure health. Its ability to burn and manage fat, how energetic does it feel, or does it high, have high energy levels? Are we not getting sick often? How alert or focused are we mentally? And then, of course, healthy skin. Uh, you know, skin many, in many instances can be a manifestation of other issues that are taking place uh, within the body. So, what is behind a healthy body? Well, if we look, if we were to look inside of it, we'd see healthy organs. So, the heart, kidneys, liver, digestive system, all working correctly. And then, at a microscopic level, we'd see the cells. Now. The cells uh, make up the organs themselves. Cells make up the entire body, actually. But every single organ has uh, cells specific, um, spe that are specific to them. So liver cells, organ cells, and lung cells all differ. Uh, nevertheless, they all work together to make sure there is a balance within the body itself. Now, I, I will make note of something here. Uh, oftentimes when we have, for example, an issue with a digestive tract, or with the, uh, you know, with the lungs or the liver, uh, when we go to see the doctor, usually it's very localized or specific, the area that we they begin to diagnose. Um, that's actually a problem with our, uh, really with our the, the way that our physicians or the medical industry in particular is trained. Uh, the reason for that is because you can't localize or separate one organ from another. Usually they're all working together. Uh, to help each other out. So even though, as I mentioned, the cells are sp organ specific, their roles are important for one another. So for instance, let's take um, the liver, okay, which, whose core purpose is to purify the blood. The liver also does a number of other things, uh, including its ability to create cholesterol, as well as its ability to create certain hormones that other organs need. So the reason why I mention that is because you might have another organ, let's say the kidneys or the digestive system, uh, that is out of whack. Uh, and if you don't get at the root of the problem, then health issues will continue to persist. So while you may diagnose and, and receive some kind of pharmaceutical prescription for, let's just say, the kidneys, and maybe the liver, in fact, or some other organ that's at the root of the issue, and by simply placing a Band-Aid or some other, um, simply treating the symptoms, uh, localized in that area, uh, you're not going to be getting it through to the problem and could see much more health issues down the road. So very important to see the body as a whole and to see how cells uh, fit within that whole. So let's return to the basics, okay? The cells we know uh, in basic biology course is the most fundamental or basic unit within the body. It governs the entire health of the body itself, okay, including its ability to control and prevent illness, and each cell is very highly intelligent. There's uh, millions of different things happening within each cell each minute. And each cell hosts uh, numberless amounts of information for the body. Now, communication is critical. Similar, similar to how healthy relationships uh, rely on communication to grow and thrive, healthy bodies also rely on communication. Now, within the body, all of that uh, falls on the shoulders, if you will of the cells. The cell's ability to communicate information one to another or within itself is very critical to how healthy the body ends up being. Now that's all done through cellular signaling. So what it is, it's the body's, or excuse me, it's the cell's way to communicate information from one organ to another, from itself to another nearby cell. And it's involved in every single function in the body. So we're talking about digestion metabolizing of foods, uh, its ability to get rid of infection, including its ability to get rid of you know, cancerous cells in the body. All of that depends uh, on cellular signaling and how strong it is. Now, weakened cellular signaling can lead to illness. So if signaling isn't strong or is weakened in the body, for instance, we may be sick more often because the cells can't communicate to the immune system, hey, we have a problem here, let's go ahead and take care of this, this issue that's taking place. So how is it weakened? Well, there's a lot of factors, but some of the most common are, are eating unhealthy. Uh, the cell relies on certain nutrients, specifically minerals, for instance. 
in order to make sure that it's functioning at an optimum level. If it doesn't receive those nutrients, then it's not going to, to work uh, correctly. Also, the use of drugs. Uh, and here I'm not just referring to street drugs or illegal drugs, but also an overuse of prescription drugs. And not even necessarily an addiction, but just if we're dependent on certain prescription drugs, that can weaken it. Also, exposure to pollutants or other chemicals. Negative thinking or habits. There's a lot of studies now, actually, that show how thinking uh, directly affects the biochemistry of the body, and a lot of that also ends up affecting uh, the uh, cellular signaling that takes place within the body itself. Also, an active, an inactive mind or body. You know, a lot's been said about inactive bodies, and we know the effects of living a sedentary lifestyle. But the mind as well, there's a lot of studies uh, showing now, for instance, that individuals that read or keep their minds active are much less likely to acquire Alzheimer's or some other form of, of dementia in their later years. So how, would, how do we keep cellular signaling strong? Well, there's a few tips. First and foremost, make sure you eat plenty of fruits and vegetables, uh, especially colorful ones, so red, like tomatoes here, or bell peppers, apples. And it's best to eat them in the raw form. When you boil them or cook them, they actually can lose some of their nutritional content. Oh, by the way, also, fruits and vegetables carry a lot of important minerals. And as was mentioned earlier, the cells need those. Lose extra weight. A lot of times, excessive fat, especially fat that surrounds our organs, uh, if we have too much of that, it doesn't allow the communication to flow well within the body. Keep the body and mind active. Stay positive. I can't emphasize that enough. Just make sure you're always thinking positive thoughts and don't dwell too much on negative things. And then finally, get enough sleep. You can be doing all this, but if you're only sleeping three, four, or five hours a night, it's really not going to do you any good. The body needs its rest to make sure that it's functioning correctly. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email us or email me directly at jacob at metapureproducts.com. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. and. Uh, Hope you all have a great day. Take care.